Wow, so this is going to be absolutely huge for Outriders. The rumor has ended up being true. Outriders is coming to Xbox Game Pass on April 1st. So in my opinion, this game has changed for the better in such a good way because man oh man, the audience size is going to increase drastically because of this one move by Square Enix and of course Microsoft. So this is really big. We're gonna dive into this news, but also I've got a bunch of other videos out there that I just posted about Outriders, including new in-game legendary weapons, which reveal the game's massive potential. It's gonna be awesome. Check out those videos in the description and on the channel. But hey everyone, what's happening? Open World Games here, hope you're doing good and let's do this. I've been streaming uh, Outriders a lot lately. Check out my streams in the description as well. But let's dive into this official news from Square Enix and Microsoft that Outriders is coming to Xbox Game Pass. So if you pre-order the game, what in the world do you do if you're an Xbox user? So let's find out. They actually have some things to say about that. So they say this. Hey everyone, first of all, People Can Fly would like to express their gratitude and thank everyone who has pre-ordered Outriders and supported the game so far. Without your belief, it would be very hard to create this original universe, which we hope you spend many, many hours enjoying. Now, as you may have seen, Outriders will be available with Xbox Game Pass from April 1st. In anticipation of this, we expect there may be some questions around this. To that end, we've drawn up a brief fact below. They go on to say this, will I get the Hell's Rangers content pack if I play with Game Pass? Now they say the Hell Rangers content pack is our way of saying thank you to early adopters and players who pre-order the game. If you have pre-ordered the game on Xbox, you will receive the Hell's Rangers content pack. Now if you access the game exclusively with Game Pass without purchasing or pre-ordering it, you will not receive the Hell's Rangers content pack, although you will be able to purchase it separately for up to 10% off with your member discount if you want to pick up the content pack. So that's very noteworthy there. They say this, we've talked more about what the Hell's Ranger content pack actually is in a previous broadcast. So let me know what you guys make of that. And also I'm curious how many of you are actually going to keep your pre-order uh, with this game or are you just gonna go on the Xbox Game Pass and perhaps buy this pack separately? Now, what about progress? Let's talk about that. It says this, will my progress transfer if I change to Xbox from another platform? They say this, your progress will follow you if you switch between Xbox Series X, S, and Xbox One, and vice versa. Now, they say your progress will not follow you if you switch to Xbox from another platform like PC or PlayStation. Similarly, your progress will not follow you if you switch from Xbox to another platform. Now, if you own multiple platforms, and plan to now play Outriders with Game Pass, we would recommend ensuring that you play the demo on Xbox to, in order to have your progress waiting for you when Outriders launches with Game Pass. So that's good news right there. Anyone getting the game through Game Pass, your demo progress uh, will carry over to the uh, Game Pass version of the game. So that is noteworthy, sweet. Uh, now, let's take a look here. They say this, I've already pre-ordered Outriders, but I would like to cancel my Xbox pre-order in light of the Game Pass news. No problem, we absolutely get it. We've worked hard with Xbox to make things as easy as possible for you. So below are the steps you can take to cancel your pre-order if you have pre-ordered directly from Xbox. I will throw this in the description below for anyone that actually wants to make the move to Game Pass and perhaps they want to cancel their pre-order. But, you know, Square Enix, they have actually been posting out there and very thankful to those of you that aren't going to be canceling your pre-order despite uh, perhaps having the Game Pass because, uh, you know, they're extremely thankful for the extra support. And I've seen a lot of people that are willing to keep uh, the game, you know, pre-ordered despite this news. And that's really huge. So also, let's take a look at some additional comments from Square Enix. They actually replied here. Uh, so this is Square Enix right here. It says, friendly reminder that some clarity bug fixes on ammo skills like blighted twisted rounds is needed as they don't seem to be working as intended in a lot of cases and are overriding, negating certain skill tree points and stats in a negative way. So they have some uh, work that they're doing right there. Now they say this, by maintaining your pre-order, you will indeed be helping and supporting the Outriders team. We truly appreciate anyone who is willing to trust us with a pre-order. 
Uh, this isn't something we would ever take for granted, and that's why we've tried to lay out your options as easy as possible in the original post. So yeah, uh, let me know what's gonna happen there. Now, let's see how the community is actually reacting to this news. They say, wow, what a still the Game Pass is. It's becoming a beast. I'm telling you what, X Mantio says, best thing to happen to gaming and I will keep my pre-order. Lord Nor says, me too, happy to support people can fly after a great demo, amazing communication and complete lack of microtransactions. Uh, and YouTube Adam says, wow, this is huge, great job guys. Still keeping my pre Xbox pre-order though. Uh, so that is really cool. Um, awesome to hear right there. So Square Enix uh, has been uh, really thankful to that for sure. Now, let's keep going here. We have some other news that I wanted to go over. The community is discussing the in-game. In particular, they're wanting a super robust in-game. Again, I did cover some recent in-game news that you got to check out in the description below about legendary weapons and legendary gear. And let me tell you what, the in-game is looking very promising, at least at the start of uh, the launch of this game. But how much further could they take the in-game? That was discussion by Lorax, Lorax, Laxord, I think it is. He says, Rifts, Infinite Force, Underground, esque in-game mode. He says this, I get the sense of in-game being expeditions of preset levels. Feels like Division 2 farming for the exotic rifle, where you keep repeating it from start to finish. It feels burnout in the long run. I am an ARPG and looter shooter fan. This game does tick a lot of boxes for me, but I enjoy just endless running and killing with a moment of rare loot along the way. I was hoping the community could suggest to the devs having a random generated biomes, levels, and modifiers to make each run interesting and long lasting. I just hope that it's more modernized rather than Diablo 2 ball runs. Don't get me wrong, I'm still buying this game, just a bit nitpicky. Horde mode would be good too, but I don't like staying in one place with a timer running gameplay. Division 1 horde mode was a bit less boring in my opinion. Now, seems like a lot of you guys would like to see some sort of randomly generated dungeon perhaps that could be very, very cool to test your might and strength. But I do think the replay value will be coming here with the world tiers. I think that's where they're gonna set up a lot of replay value. Yes, you're gonna probably be uh, going through similar levels, uh, but the world tiers are going to change a lot with the enemies that you're gonna be facing off against and what weapons you will be needing. And of course, the rewards you will be getting. So a lot of stuff that can dynamically change right there. Uh, now also, this was highlighted by Mr. Sparkle7100. He says, can't wait until we fight that giant spider smiley face. And you'll see right here, this uh, friendly looking uh, enemy right here crawling alongside the uh, cliffside. So yeah, you know, a lot of people have played the demo. They faced off against the humanoid creatures or characters, I should say, in the game. And I don't think a lot of people realize that there's tons of variety with the actual creatures. And I don't know, I guess you would say alien life in this game. That's something I am absolutely super hyped for with this game is going in here and facing off against a wider variety of creatures. And that's why I'm honestly not over grinding the demo right now, uh, because yeah, I don't want to push it too much with the grinding and uh, kind of get too much legendaries and essentially waste that opportunity of getting those legendaries in the full game. Now it's time to go over your top comments. Rem remember to leave a comment down below it could end up in a future video so let's do this yeah my previous video again was about new in-game legendaries reveal the game's huge potential oh boy this is really cool so let's take a look at what you guys have to say right here so Qtel law says so excited for outriders play the demo today and it's such a fresh experience from other looter shooters can agree more um, Larry says, legal issues with chat, bet it's China. They don't want their people using game chats to communicate without government censorship. I don't know, like who knows what's going on with the in-game chat, but they're looking into it. That's all uh, I know. That's what they've said officially. Jen Cable says, I would love to pick and choose from different looking outfits whenever I am customizing. Yeah, you know, I think for me, the biggest thing with uh, customization is color dyes. I would like to be able to have outfits where I can actually change the color and I think that would increase the loot system 
being able to pick up uh you know legendary color dyes or something that significantly changes the color or look of your current existing outfit in an awesome epic way that would be very very cool and i think that's a feature honestly i think that's a feature they should really focus on in the future of course they should nail down the bugs get this game running as smoothly as possible at launch they really need to get that legendary bug fixed as well uh let's see tiskaya says this these legendaries are making me wish my precious time away for april 1st can't wait to dig into enoch <laughs> the excitement right there uh boo boo kitty says this haven't gotten a legendary yet but satisfied with my assault rifle since a percentage of damage creates a shield for me wow so if i maintain consistent damage my shield stays up so i take no damage that is freaking awesome like they've got some really unique weapons in this game absolutely but uh thank you all so much for watching uh it's official outriders is heading to xbox game pass on april first can't freaking believe it i didn't know if that rumor would pan out it seemed like it would i've been waiting for that news to drop so that is super exciting news for outriders fans everywhere but thank you for watching stay tuned for more outriders news and open world gaming goodness and i will see you all next time take care